Hey Scorpio, what's going on? I hope everybody's well. So this is going to be a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Scorpio for the second half of September 2021. And it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But if you want, you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs to see if those readings will resonate or you can book a personal reading. And do keep in mind that because this reading is general, it, the roles can be reversed. So let's see. Scorpio, what is going on for you? Second half of September. And <laughs> we just keep getting this card today. Um, I think it was Gemini as well as Aquarius who got Happy Family. And now it's showing up for Scorpio as well. So... Yeah, some of you might be dealing with a Gemini or an Aquarius, or maybe you have those um, signs strongly in your chart. But somebody is thinking about family and what it means to be in a happy family or wants to have a happy family with you. And that's mostly what I'm getting for you um, with this card. So let's see, Scorpio. It comes in a little bit differently, I feel, for each sign. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Second half of September. What is going on here? All right, so for the situation, we have, okay, the Five of Pentacles crossed by the Devil. All right, so very interesting. Um, it doesn't... <laughs> It's not feeling too good, all right, the situation the way that it is right now, but we'll see more when we clarify. Um, recent past, we have the Seven of Cups, Near Future, the Nine of Swords. Mm. For you, we have the Three of Cups. For them, we have the King of Swords. For you, we also have the Page of Cups. For them, the Ace of Wands. And the potential outcome here, we have the Six of Pentacles. All right, okay, so... Um, even though things seem to be a little bit um, kind of on the negative side at the moment, I feel like there's still this, I mean, the overall energy is happy family, all right? So, and I, again, I do feel like this person wants to have a happy family with you in particular. I feel like at the moment, though, there is um, possibly some fear, some fear of abandonment um, that somebody's holding on to. It could be you, could be them. So maybe even if you are in... If you are in contact, I feel like there might just be this like lingering fear or maybe a little bit of paranoia um, for a rejection or, you know, ending up alone or, the, or a fear of this not, not working out. Or there's just something um, that might be a little bit unhealthy going on um, for one of you or possibly even for both of you um, amongst each other. So... Yeah, we'll see. Um, I feel like there was some confusion in the recent past um, concerning this connection. Maybe somebody had some different options to sort through, but it's mostly coming in as just confusion, just really not really knowing um, what's going on here. You, I feel like at the moment you're feeling pretty good. So that's why this is interesting to me. Again, we'll see how it how it um, shows up when we clarify, but I feel like you're feeling pretty good, but I'm not really sure if that's just you trying to convince yourself that everything is okay, even if there is this underlying fear of a rejection. So yeah, again, we'll see. Um, for them, there's um, a lot of determinism. There's a lot of really feeling strong. This person is really feeling strong, and I feel like this person is also um, really feeling this passion with you, wanting to have a new beginning. Um, I feel like this, for some of you, this may be somebody from the past, wanting to reignite things, things coming back together. But there is a little bit of stress that is also um, coming up in the near future, so we'll see what that's about. But in the potential outcome, we do have balance showing up, and I feel like it's an even give and take, all right, between you and this other person. So... Yeah, let's get into it. Let's clarify. Five of Pentacles and the Devil. Some of you might be dealing with the Capricorn. And some of 
some of you might also be dealing with an air sign, but of course it could be any sign. All right, so we have the world, the sun, the page of pentacles, and the four of swords. All right, Scorpio, let's see. I feel like there's a cycle that is ending for you or a phase that is ending for this connection. Um, and I feel like a new one is beginning. So I feel like at the moment things, this is what is so interesting about this. I feel like there's like this huge contrast here with what seems to be happening and then something else kind of happening within you that I feel or, or for the other person that I don't feel is actually, um, it's not apparent, it's not showing. So, so definitely whatever this devil's energy is, it needs, it does need to be resolved. Um, and I feel like it's just kind of like hiding in the corner. And this is Mannix trying to mess up our cards. Yeah, he was outside for like the previous readings I did the for the other signs. But now he's inside and he's like, yay, let me go mess up Scorpio's reading. Okay, good. Just sit there. You, we can have your feet in the camera. All right. Um... All right, so back to this, yeah. There's there's something that's kind of like lurking in the shadows here and I feel it's kind of just like eating you up, um, even if you are trying to kind of push that away. Um, whatever it is, I feel like you are wanting to heal that, all right? Because we do have the Four of Swords. So there is, um, and we, and the Page of Pentacles. So there is some work that you're doing, but I feel like it's kind of like, you know, you kind of work on it and then possibly forget about it and then you, it comes up again and so then you work on it again and kind of like that. So let me, let me see. Let's get deeper into this. Let's see the Three of Cups for your energy. the Knight of Wands, the Eight of Swords, see there it is, and the Page of Swords. Yeah, so this, this lightheartedness, this um, enjoying yourself, right? It's there, it's definitely there. I'm not saying that it's fake, like it really is there. Um, but I feel like it's not really consistent because, again, there's this fear that creeps up on you. And I feel like it kind of gets the best of you where you start um, you start overanalyzing certain things or you start thinking about things. And you know what? Maybe what you're thinking is even based in reality. All right? I'm not saying that it's not. I'm not saying that it's all in your head. I do see this person wanting a happy family with you, but maybe there is something toxic that, that is there. And so maybe your um, concerns here are based in reality, but I feel like there's this tendency to maybe um, try to just stay in like a happy spirit. And again, not saying that's a bad thing, um, just what I'm seeing. So let's see the Page of Cups. So for the Page of Cups, we have the King of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, Judgment, and the Star. Alright, so Aquarius energy is also showing up here. Um, I feel like you're expressing yourself emotionally. You're expressing what your, what your needs are, right? Wanting this commitment or how you feel about another person. I feel like, you know, and the Two of Cups also showing up here. So yeah, you're definitely expressing yourself about how you feel when it comes to commitment and what it is that you want, basically. I feel like you're being very, very honest um, about that. And if there was a separation, which there may have been, that could also be that Five of Pentacles. Um, I feel like you are wanting this connection to come back together, to work out. And, and again, I feel like you, you are really feeling that and possibly also really expressing that. 
it, it just feels like you're you're just like ready for this to work, basically. Um, so let's see what's going on with them. Let's see this King of Swords. All right, we have the Empress, the Nine of Swords, and the King of Cups. All right, okay, yeah, see, so this person definitely does have a lot of feelings for you, and there is a lot of determinism here. Um, I, I do feel like this person also is the type who thinks a lot to the point where it can create stress. And I actually feel like, you know, even though this person has this determinism, they want to take bigger action possibly than what they were taking in the past. Um, this, I feel like it's their feelings actually that create stress for them that causes um, some anxiety or there's just something here that is creating, um, I'm seeing this as fear. Possibly a fear of taking this to the next level. Um, even though they do want this happy family, there's also a fear attached to that. The emotions are there. Um, again, it's it's almost like there's a fear of the intensity of these emotions and how they feel about you because they see you as this empress. They're seeing you as a person that they could be with long term. And for whatever reason, that, that seems to create some stress for them. Let's see the Ace of Wands. So we have the Eight of Wands and we have the Fool. All right, so that's a lot of action here that this person is taking towards you. Um, communication, action, movement, wanting to, you know, either bring things back or start things off, depending on your particular situation. Um, I almost forgot what was in the past. We have, oh yeah, the Seven of Cups, yeah. So there was confusion in the past. So, um... I feel like this person feels right now like they have sorted it out, but there's still this, there's still this stress, there's still this anxiety, and I, and that could be what you are picking up on, and why there's this devil's energy here, which is like just kind of eating away at this. But I feel again, I feel like it's kind of not really being talked about. Let's see that nine of swords. So this would be the near future. We have the Four of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, again, it's the same message coming through um, for your person here, right? Because they have this Nine of Swords attached to them. So yeah, like they're coming in. So maybe this is somebody who has a pattern of kind of being in and out. Um, I didn't see that anywhere else, but it, it just makes sense here because there was confusion before. Um, I see them being determined now and there being a lot of communication, taking a leap um, towards this, possibly also very impulsively. Um, but I feel like coming up there might be a little bit of this anxiety coming back into play, like kind of um, surfacing itself because it's here now. It's here now. It's just that it's kind of hiding beneath all of it, just like it's hiding for you as well um, because I think you, you can just kind of like feel it so I feel like that's coming up and it's it really is an anxiety of of commitment or possibly even a fear of being happy like what would that entail like I feel like that's it sounds crazy but certain things that come with happiness can also be a little bit um, scary especially if they're new things or things that we're not used to and so again, this person is seeing you as this queen of wands, like very, like desiring you very, very much, seeing you as very desirable, um, having a lot of passion for you. That's very apparent here in their energy towards you, as well as coming up in the near future. But there's anxiety attached to that. So I, I actually think that that's a good thing, even though you would think that this is negative, because this, this anxiety, it's it's um, hiding so it does need to come to the surface because otherwise it cannot be resolved and that's what I see in the potential outcome here is 
there being some kind of a resolution for that, something coming into balance, there being an equal exchange between the two of you in energy. So if this person was a little in and out and, you know, I do see that stabilizing out. So let's see, Six of Pentacles. Ooh, the Nine of Cups and the Queen of Cups, yeah. So the potential is definitely there. I feel like this, just this issue that really needs to be um, worked through. And again, I mean, because we do also have the Four of Swords here. I do feel like it is healing. We also have the Sun here. Um, I didn't call that out. That's Leo energy showing up. Um, it is healing. It is in the process of healing. There's just a little bit of work for this person when it comes to whatever anxiety it is that they have. And I feel like you're picking up on that because you are intuitive um, in that way. And th that's why it's creating this fear of rejection because this person is probably um, a little bit fearful of, of commitment. But I do... I do see balance coming in, all right, and the potential outcome here. I do see love, and I do see wish fulfillment, um, and yeah, that's just a very beautiful ending here. So, Scorpio, let's see the final message for you, if this resonated. I mean, obviously, always follow your own intuition. And we have impasse, reflect and, di and redirect your energy. So um, I'm seeing this as really um, <laughs> reflecting on what really is bothering you and addressing this issue when it does come up. All right, that's what this is about and not, um, not avoiding it, not allowing it to hide. Redirect your energy towards reflecting on what this is. So, Scorpio, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.